Hello, and welcome to another episode of, you guessed it, The Shirtless Painter. Anyone can paint, and anyone can paint anything. And today, we're going to be painting something uh, from memory. I'm going to be painting the cover of Batman Forever, the movie, uh, as best I can from memory. So I encourage you to take off your shirt, and whether you've seen the movie or not, join me and paint along at home, won't you? Let's get started. All right, so we've primed our canvas with sort of a spooky, not Tim Burton-esque, keep in mind he, he abandoned the franchise at this point, but uh, just sort of a nice spooky backdrop here, and we'll be listing some of the colors we'll be using on the screen for you to follow along at home. Let's do it. Okay, so there's a lot of, uh, the cast got pretty big uh, for this film, so we have a lot of work to do, but the first thing I'm gonna do, just to sort of shed a little light on the situation, is to do a nice big old bat signal because I know that was involved. When in doubt, I'll always just do some sort of bat signal. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna get some of our bat white here, just some basic bat white. And we'll just sort of start schlopping it in there. You could add a little wetness, a little water, give it sort of a nice misty Gotham City look. And as you're painting, if you wanted to turn on the soundtrack to um, Batman Forever, it's actually a pretty good soundtrack. A lot of songs that weren't used in the film, but nonetheless, they're good songs. Okay. Okay, so we got our bat signal around here. Time to add our bat. How about that? It's a little rhyme I say whenever that, whenever that comes up. Whenever adding a bat comes up, that's a little rhyme I like to say. Okay. So we'll just mix up some of our Batman black here. I'm gonna grab a smaller brush here. Batman's a subtle character, so go ahead and grab a smaller brush. Dip it in the wet, and here we go. I like to start with the ears when I'm doing a bat Batman signal, but you could start with, with anything you like. The wings, the little points, anything you choose. And the white might mix in there, but that's actually our friend in this case, because again, this is a nice misty Gotham night the kooks are out at night, as Batman knows all too well. They just won't let him rest. So the cops, cops down at Gotham PD are of course ill-equipped to handle anything on their own apparently, so they gotta call in Batman. So a Batman bat is different than a, a bat you'd find in nature. Instead of disgusting little claws and stuff, they have uh, just a series of points. So just go ahead and just go ahead and fill in the series of points. This could be this, I don't know if this is a tail or a penis or what what this little big point is, but this is the master point. This sort of anchors everything together. And we'll just finish up that little guy there. Whew. Getting excited already. I feel like I'm going to the movies. Okay. So it's not perfect, but let's be honest, neither was the film. I enjoyed it. Did you? All right, so we've got our bad signal there. Sort of sending out the message to call, you guessed it, none other than Batman himself. So Batman usually answers the call. So why don't we go ahead and start plotting out our Batman. What do you say? All right, so we're gonna take some of our 
bad boy blue here, because Batman is a bit of a bad boy. And we'll add a little bit of white, because he is white. I think America's ready for the black Batman and Asian Batman, but in this film he was a white man, Val Kilmer. Oh. Okay, so we're going to get the nice Batman blue going here. And before we darken it up, we'll just start it with, uh, well, what the hell, there's already some black on here, so we'll get, we'll incorporate that. Painting is as much about fun and beauty as it is about shortcuts, taking shortcuts, so always try to find shortcuts for yourself. Work smart, not hard. All right, so if I remember correctly, Batman was sort of taking up the lion's share of the frame, or should I say the bat's share. You know, I was, you knew where I was going. You knew me, you know me too well. So we just kind of get his old dumb head in there. Starting with one ear. And this is sort of an Adam West colored suit, but I don't give a shit. All bets were off with this film. Took more of a campy turn, definitely more of a nod to the uh, '60s Batman. So instead of a nod, we're gonna be a, we're gonna do a big old big old head shake. All right, so add his other ear in there, his little side ear. Great, his bat nose, and then of course the mouth hole. No Batman is complete. This is the only, this is where the actor, this is the only real evidence of who's playing Batman, this, this muzzle area here. So, this is where Kilmer can really um, shine. So make sure to leave room for that. And, give him a little under chin area. Great. All right. So we've got the bat head here. Now they say Batman is blind as a bat, but that's not true. He needs to see. So let's give him some eyes. Now you can go, You could use sort of cartoon rules here and just give him plain white eyes, which you'll notice is what he has when he's a cartoon in his mask. Or you could, you know, if you're more of a realism, student of realism, you can go ahead and add pupils and stuff. So we'll start with the whites. I'll give him a little bit of Make it a touch angry. Batman's a little angry boy. We'll start with that and let's get the nice Caucasian uh, bat flesh going. Oop. Help, Batman, I dropped my brush. Just kidding, you have better fish to fry. Like the Joker. In this case, the Riddler, but that's a story for a little bit later in the show. Okay, so we're mixing up sort of a pink color here, which isn't quite right, but that's okay. We'll add just a little more white. And just a dash of Catwoman yellow. Just a little more white. 
And just a little more white. Okay. Nice. So we got our nice Kilmer tint going here. And here, from here, we just sort of fill in the gaps. Look at that. So Kilmer's got those sexy Kilmer lips, so we definitely don't want to forget those. The man played Jim Morrison. Let's not forget. Not quite the same chin as Keaton, but a decent replacement. I believe that was some of the reviews of the film. Decent replacement. Gene Siskel. Rest in peace. Okay. Again, we can add definition and we could sort of fill out those beautiful Kilmer lips a little bit more in a second, but right now just get your basic basic bat shape down there. Great. Okay, so we got our bat shape. And what do you say we sex them up a little bit? Hello, ladies and men. Lip clef. Look at that. And those delicious Batman lips and a little butt chin. I believe he's got one. Great. Looks like Val Kilmer to me. Okay, fantastic. Alright, so we're gonna we got our main Batman shape here and what the hell? I don't know what color eyes uh, Val Kilmer has. I don't have time to learn that kind of stuff, but we'll go ahead and give him some nice green eyes. I've decided to go the eyeball route, but again, it's your choice. Don't let anyone tell you how to paint your Batman. Paint your own Batman. That's what I say. Paint your own Batman. March to the beat of your own Batman. We'll add the blackness in his eyes. And while we're at it, we'll just give him some sort of Batman highlights. Don't forget the nose. He's got a pointy bat nose. Fill out those beautiful lips. And of course, we all remember Batman has, right around the eye holes, he's got just a little bit of black makeup, which means before he goes out to bust the bad guys, he's got to put on a little makeup. Think about it. I've been saying this for years. No one listens to me. Great. Terrific. Perfect. All right, so we got our Batman face here. Now it's time to round out the cast. This is a wacky one, so buckle your damn seat belts. Okay. Pardon my French. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add in our one of the biggest stars of the era, Mr. James Carey. The Riddler himself. Alright, so let's go ahead and get our Riddler brush here. Of course, Batman gets top billing. 
Though in Batman and Robin, Arnold Schwarzenegger got top building. Billing. Okay. So we get some of our Riddler color, and we'll just sort of plop him in right here. He's got sort of a long, wacky face, if you remember Jim Carrey, of course. Give him sort of an America's Funny Man type of chin here. And of course, the Riddler had sort of a shock of orange hair. He was a real kooky bird in this one, so go ahead and give him that. Have fun with it. I mean, if you don't want to give him orange hair, you don't have to. You could do green hair, orange or green, but have fun with it. Okay. It's a true wild man. All right, speaking of green, Jim Carrey starred in the mask, but he also wears a mask as the Riddler. So let's give him his mask. Look at that. Nice eye holes there. And if I remember correctly, he was doing sort of a crazy thing with his hands. So we'll just start getting some crazy arms in there. He's almost shrugging as if to say, you don't know what I'll do next. And boy, was that true. Just ask this guy. Just ask Batman. Okay, so we got his arms. He's sort of shrugging. spindly arms and of course these hands that seem to say hey I don't know I'm just the Riddler or hey I'm gonna get ya that might be what he's trying to say I believe the Riddler killed Batman in this one, but I don't remember the film. Sound off in the comments to confirm that he killed Batman, but again, I don't know. Great, look at that. Okay, so we got our spooky Riddler arms here. Don't forget the eye whites. They say don't fire till you see the whites of their eyes. Well, open fire, because here they are. And speaking of whites, Jim Carrey is known for two things. Making people laugh and those big white chompers. So let's, let's show some teeth. James Carrey. Okay. All right, and we'll take a little bit of green. What's the Riddler without his signature? Whoop. Question marks. We'll just add several of those. Just sort of on his little PJs there. And then, what the hell, we'll just give him some green teeth. You've heard of green tea, but green teeth? Maybe it's a riddle. 
Maybe it's a riddle. Okay, great. That's enough of that guy. We got plenty of characters to get to. So let's see, who else do we have in here? We got Batman, the Riddler, ah, who could forget? Two-Face. So we got uh, Harvey Keitel, what's the guy's name? The guy who played Two-Face, um, PJ Harvey. Um, what is his name? Grumpy guy, we'll figure it out. Two-Face, he's a purple man. I believe he was half purple, his bad side, or his wild side, if you will. So we'll just take a little bit of our white, a little bit of our purple. Because again, I can't remember the guy's name. But he was a white man, of course. Hollywood. Get it together. We're doing better. This was 1995. Alright, so... We'll start with... Well, I guess we'll start with half the face. So just split it right down the middle. There it is, there's that bad half. Harvey Dent is the character's name. Still drawing a blank on the actor's name. I'm sure you guys will help me out. Tommy Lee Jones. Okay, so there's his other half of the face there. Get the Riddler sort of getting up in his personal space, but hey, that's just the Riddler. All right, so now it's time to have some fun. We're gonna we're gonna add his face. So it's quite simple. We got one mean guy, one happy guy, one happy eye, one mean eye. And he's got some crazy hair on one side. And some nice boy hair on the other side, I guess. Some nice blonde hair, we'll say. Who, who cares? Okay, there's our nice boy. Two-Face. Okay, and of course we also have Nicole Kidman was in there. Beautiful actress. Gorgeous actress, Nicole Kidman. So we'll just get our main Kidman shape here. I don't know what her role was. Maybe a rep usually it's a reporter. Something to that effect. Okay, so we got our nice Kidman shape. And we're just going to take some of our Riddler's Riddler hair orange. And some yellow, and of course some of our Kidman color. K-O-L-O-R, Kidman color. A little more yellow, she's a blonde. And we'll just add in our Kidman locks. It's already looking like Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman, if you're watching, I hope I got your hair color right for this film. Okay. Feeling pretty good about that. Just smooth this situation out here. In Hollywood, they call this a nip and tuck, but I just call it painting. Look at that, 10 years younger. Great. Kidman lips. K 
Pigment eyes. I don't remember what color eyes she has, but as far as I recall, they're deep black. Okay, so we got our Batman, we got our Jim Carrey as the Riddler, we got our Mr. Two-Face, Tommy Lee Jones. Now, let's not forget, King of the 90s, Chris O'Donnell. The big screen's first uh, Riddler, Robin. Again, he is another white actor. They're getting plenty of work this year, so we'll add him in there. And the great thing about Chris O'Donnell is that he's just sort of a plain man, so it's, this one is really easy. There's not really much you could do with him. Just a plain round head. He's almost like a living Charlie Brown. Great, so you get his round old head in there. And what color hair does he have? Probably some kind of brown, I would, I would guess. So we'll just mix up some. Well, this will actually work great for the maroon of his mask. So we'll just give him his nice updated uh, Robin mask, which was very sleek. Give him sort of a Robin signal there. Very similar to the Batman signal. Symbol, excuse me. Just sort of a plain mouth. And what the heck, we'll just give him black hair. It doesn't really matter. And we'll fill in some of his old Robin suit. If I remember correctly, he's sort of sticking his arm in the air, like he's saying, hey, I'm with Batman now, so cool off. Okay. And here's his fist. Great. Okay, so no movie cover is complete without the title, of course. How the heck are people going to know what they're watching? So let's go ahead and add the title. And it's... I don't remember the exact font choices, but... It's Batman, so you know it's going to be cool. You know it's going to be sleek. So just have fun with it. Maybe create your own font. That's the beauty of painting, is that it's a sort of a custom font every time. Bat. Sound it out. Batman. Seraphs on there. Okay. All right, well, we ran out of room there. We'll just sort of, nothing's really going on here, so we'll just sort of stick that over there. And of course, forever, which is how long people will remember this great film. For. Again, sound it out if you're having trouble. Okay, great. So we've got our main uh, cast of characters here. 
But there's one more character in the movie that um, that isn't in the movie, but she's the number one top billing in my life, my wife. So we're just gonna give my wife a little cameo here. Okay. So we'll just mix up a little wife, wife color here. And we'll put her right up here above Chris O'Donnell because in my heart and in my view, my wife is way above Chris O'Donnell. I got nothing against Chris O'Donnell, but I love my wife more than him, obviously. And, well, this is a Batman movie. Everything's a little crazy, so we'll just give her some kooky villain hair. Maybe her name is Slime Woman. I would never call her that, but. And I hope no one else would. All right, so we'll give Slime Woman, let's see. Slime Woman can wear, what color mask does she wanna wear? How about a nice purple? New superhero alert for all you nerds out there. JK. Slime Woman, issue one, coming to stores very soon. Okay. And give her those Kidman lips. And of course, the whites of her eyes. And we'll just give her the hint of a little outfit, which is... Does the outfit match the mask? The answer is yes. Maybe she's saying, hey, Chris, get your hand out of my face. She would say it politely, though, but firmly. She doesn't put up with any BS, even from Chris O'Donnell. Great, look at that. All right. All right. Well, I don't know about you, but I would say that that's one spicy painting. Thanks for joining me. I encourage you to take off your shirt, paint along with me. And of course, <clears throat> Check out Batman Forever only on D V T. See you next time.